Hey guys, today's video is going to be a fun one. I'll be cleaning up all these parts for this KX250F I just tore apart. I would have to say the cleaning process is one of my favorite aspects of working on dirt bikes. Just so rewarding seeing parts go from nasty griminess to nearly new again. The brushes and chemicals that you use has a big effect on how well the part will turn out. So I will put the links to all the products I use down in the description so you can buy them for yourself. All right, I'm gonna get busy cleaning this bike up. I like to start with the bigger things first, so the frame, wheel, suspension, swing arm, that kind of thing. Time to get to work. I usually start with cleaning the frame outside on the back slab, but as you can see, it's dark outside right now, so I'm gonna save the frame cleaning for tomorrow. Instead, I'm gonna start with freshening up these wheels. Some of you guys probably saw in the last video, but this front rim has a crack in it. So instead of selling the wheel hole, I'm gonna pull the rim off and sell the hub and spoke separately. And then just toss out the rim. I noticed the rim is also bent in a few spots, so definitely not worth saving. In order to remove the rim, I've gotta loosen up these spoke nipples and then I'm gonna bust out the impact to rip this thing apart. This wheel is now completely apart. Just time to clean this stuff up. Like I was saying, I'm gonna toss out this rim and the spokes and nipples I'm gonna save for a little bit later to clean up. As for the hub, I'm gonna show you what I do to freshen this thing up. Of course, this hub has bearings, so that makes it a little bit harder to clean. What I'll do here is pop out the seals and take the seals off the face of the bearing. That way I can clean out the bearings, repack them with grease, and put everything back together. Now that the wheel and hub are ready to clean, I'll drop them into the pressure wash cabinet to knock off the majority of the dirt and grease before I put them into the soak tank. This wheel doesn't fit in the soak tank completely, so what I'll do is spray it down with degreaser. In this spray bottle is simple green, just straight, not diluted at all. So while this wheel is soaking, I'm going to put the hub into the pressure wash cabinet and clean that up as well. The hub has been soaking for a bit, so it's ready to go. By the way, what I run in the soak tank is the same degreaser that I run the spray bottle. So it's simple green degreaser mixed with water. And this tank is actually heated from the bottom. Let's see how this hub turned out. Ooh, it looks pretty clean. The last part of the cleaning process, I'll drop it into this bucket of magwo cleaner. This is basically an etching product that removes any corrosion or dirt staining from aluminum. So I'll let the part soak for a few minutes and then give it a little brush down and the results are amazing. Time to scrub this thing up and see how it turns out. Gotta admit, it looks pretty dang good. Definitely don't want these bearings rusting, so I'm gonna blow it off with compressed air.
Meanwhile, the rear wheel has been patiently soaking, so now it's time to clean this baby up. Dang, this wheel is looking clean. I'm gonna do one final cleanup on this wheel. So in between these spokes, it's kind of hard to clean in the pressure wash cabinet. So I'm gonna have to do that by hand. Since this hub is painted, I can't use that aluminum cleaner on it. It doesn't really do a whole lot on painted or powder coated surfaces. As for cleaning up the bearing seals, I use a rag soaked in degreaser to wipe these nasty things down. So I came up with this interesting way of greasing the wheel bearings without having to pull them out. So what I've got here is a syringe full of grease and I'm going to fill up these bearings. I've got this axle for a wheel churning stand that I'm going to put through the hub and these spacers make contact with the bearings. That way I can spin the bearings and work the grease into them. You can also use the axle off your bike along with the spacers. That should do the same trick. So here's what I'll do. I'll put tons of grease on top of the bearing and then slide this axle through. And instead of putting the collar with the tapered end down, I'll flip it around. And as I'm spinning the hub, I'll slowly push this collar down. So it's working the grease into the bearing. So basically just forcing this grease down into the bearing. So as you can see, all that grease that was on there is now in the bearing. And I'll flip it around and do the same thing on the other side. Kind of a messy process, but definitely gets the job done. I know some of you are curious and wondering if grease makes it to the other side of the bearing. You know, if you're applying grease to this side of the bearing, does it actually make its way to the other side? Let's go ahead and test that. I'm going to pull this bearing out and see if there's grease all throughout. Yep, looks like both sides of the bearing are well greased. Now it's time to pop these seals back into place. Now I'm gonna do the same with the rear wheel. Fill this bearing up with grease and work it in. This spacer is quite a bit smaller than the outside diameter of this bearing. So I found a socket that's the same size and I'm gonna use this instead to push the grease into the bearing. After the bearings have been greased, I'll go through and check the spokes and make sure the wheels are true. There's not a whole lot I can do on this front, but on the back, I'm going to go through and tune this thing up. With the wheel on the trimming stand, I'm going to see if this thing spins true or not. It's not too bad, but I hear a few loose spokes in here. Right now I'm gonna find out where the high spot on the rim is. Where the indicator touches the rim, 
that shows where the high spot is. Should start right around here. So I'll find the spoke that it starts on right here. And then it goes to, so it's about down to here. So it's about a third of the rim. To straighten this out, I'm gonna tighten the spokes on this side of the rim. I've got some bad news, guys. Every single spoke I've checked so far has been seized up. So as I try to tighten the spoke, the spoke nipple and the spoke turn together. What I'm gonna do with this wheel is sell it as is, for cheaper of course. If I try to go through and free up all these threads, I'll end up with a bunch of broken spokes. And I don't really wanna deal with that. So it's better off I just sell the wheel how it is for cheap. I've done about all I can do with these wheels, so moving on to the frame which is one of my favorite parts to clean just because the end result is so insane compared to the before. But of course, it takes a lot of work to get there. So I'll be cleaning this frame outside with the pressure washer. The first objective is to knock off all the grease and dirt, and then I'll worry about bringing out the shine later on. The frame looks pretty good after a quick pressure wash. Now I'm gonna hose it down with the greaser and knock off the rest of this dirt and grease. The frame is definitely getting cleaner but now it's up to the aluminum cleaner to work its magic. This stuff will blow your mind. After a buttload of tedious scrubbing, this frame is looking prime. Very happy with how it turned out. Before cleaning the forks, I like to slide down the dust seals. That way I can clean behind there and make sure the oil seals are in good shape. Since the forks are too big to fit in the pressure wash cabinet, I'll have to clean them by hand in the soak tank. To clean up the fork lug on the fork, I'll use the Magua cleaner once again. Keep in mind that Magua cleaner will actually destroy anodizing, so keep it away from the upper fork tubes.
After the forks have been cleaned, I'll check the oil seals for any leaks and if need be, I'll clean them out and reseal them. Looks like these forks seal up pretty good. The next part to clean up is the swing arm. Before I do any cleaning on these, I like to pull out the chain adjuster bolts here. That way I can clean them up and make sure they're in good shape. It's really common for these bolts to be seized into the swing arm. As you guys can tell, this swing arm has a nice sized dent in the side of it. But nonetheless, still a good usable swing arm. And I'm gonna go clean it up. Give it a nice little pressure wash and then drop it into the soak tank. The swing arm's been soaking for a little bit now. Time for a little pressure washing. See how this thing turned out. Looking pretty good. It's gonna need the help of the aluminum cleaner though. This swing arm turned out pretty stinking good compared to what it was before. Just gotta dry it off and regrease these pivot bearings here. Because it's really common for these bolts to seize into the swing arm, I'm gonna apply grease to these threads so that way it doesn't happen in the future. Well, here is the result of a lot of scrubbing and cleaning. Man, for me, it just never gets old, seeing the transformation these parts go through. Super satisfying. I mean, come on, look at this frame. Just beautiful. But I tell you what, the work is not done quite yet. I still have like two carts full of parts that are gonna need some serious attention. The next video will be cleaning all these parts up right here. So be sure to check back soon for that one. If you guys enjoyed the video, give it a big thumbs up. And make sure you tell your buddies about it. They need to get in on this too. Always appreciate your support and take it easy guys.